Welcome once again to Vegas Valley Treasures. My name is Kenneth. I am your host, your hand model, and the crazy Vegas Valley treasure hunter who bumps the camera. Sorry about that. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, we're going to do a, a uh, restringing of this necklace. As you can see, it's, it's a very beautiful piece. Um, I discovered it in, in a collection I've been going through. It has crystal cut beads and some really pretty gold beads and some smoky crystal beads. And the problem is, though, that it's on a stretch cord, which well, lost some of its stretch, apparently. And look at that. I mean, it, it, when it sits, it sits with like an inch, actually more than an inch of exposed uh, cord. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to redo this as a wire necklace. It also looks like it originally had some sort of a charm on here, and this was probably the bottom of the the necklace. But there's just an empty piece here, an empty uh, jump ring. So let's get to it. What I've set out set aside is we've got our our gold tone wire. We've got our jump rings. We've got our uh, lovely little. Uh, lobster clasps. I'm going to pull out a lobster clasp. We're going to pull out a... We're not going to bump the camera again, although we did. <laughs> Never fails. There's always something I do crazy, right? Grab a couple of tiny jump rings for the wire connection. Some larger jump rings for the closure. The races, right? Let's cut the the original and start putting the beads onto the wire. We're not going to need that little jump ring, so let's pull that aside. Put that in my scrap box for now. Every once in a while, I read the scrap box for what's in there and uh, look for pieces that I could use. But the majority of the time, I just have pieces on hand, which is good, and I don't have to write the scrap bucket. Okay, so just so we, we're, we're on the same page, it's got a pattern of smoky, two beads, smoky, six beads, smoky, two beads, and each of the smoky beads has this little gold piece around it, and we're going to maintain that, that pattern. I really don't want to change it so much. I might want to shorten it a little bit so that we could use some of the beads for another project. But other than that, I think we just want to maintain what we have. Okay. So let's break it apart. Start sorting beads. Hopefully we don't lose any along the way. Now, if we're going to do this right, we need to center the um, pattern. So what we're going to use for the center of the pattern is we're going to use the five bead, oh, it's actually six bead, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to organize these. And then we've got two of these and the smoky bead. And we've got two of these and the smoky bead. Let's get these off the, the cord. now. <laughs> this is going to be fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the center on first. As I bang my computer. Oh, I swear I'm just not equipped for moving in small spaces. I'm like the bull in the china shop sometimes. What we're going to do is, as we add sections 
to one side, we're going to set aside matching set of beads for the other side, just to make things quicker. But let's get the center on first. So it's going to be gold bead, smoky bead. No, I didn't really put a lot of planning into this, I apologize. Probably should have set the beads out in order before I even started the video. But you are now with me doing this on the fly, just like I'm doing it. So welcome to my little world. Smoky bead, gold bead, good. Now we're gonna put out and string six of these. We could always add additional beads, I guess, if we, if we really wanted to. But I really want to just use the ones that I have here. <coughs> Mainly so I maintain the pattern and maintain the beauty of what I saw originally. Someone put a lot of work and thought into it to make the pattern. It's an unusually... nice one in my opinion but um, yeah I really want to make this as close to the original as possible but on a wire instead of a co uh, elastic cord okay <coughs> excuse me so this is the centerpiece that we were talking about now we need to build out from there so our first piece, oh, let's get these out of the way, our first pattern from here is two beads and then the, the surrounding beads again. So two beads on the left, two beads on the right, and then gold smoky gold. smoky and gold so let's get that on here we can only build one side at a time and we're setting the rest aside so we don't lose the patterning we don't take a risk that we don't that we have an incomplete pattern too smoky beads so hard to thread. I figured they'd be pretty easy. And it's obvious it's just a hole in the center of the, of the face, but because they're clear it's hard to see what that hole is. So as we did it, it's 1-1 one, one, and then gold smoky gold, and we've got the 1-1 one, one gold smoky gold set aside on for the other side. Now it's going to be six beads, and then gold smoky gold and let's set that up for the other side as well so one two three four five six and gold smoky gold and let's get it on there At the very worst, we're going to run out of beads and have a nice necklace. At the very best, we have something really beautiful that follows the original pattern. But in this case, will be a pretty non-stretchy, less cheap looking version because it'll be on a wire. I really like making wire pieces or chain pieces rather than stretch cord. Stretch cord just feels like you're cheesing out, like you're not trying hard enough to make something beautiful enough. Okay, so two beads, gold, 
smoky gold. And then two beads. And gold, smoky gold. And let's continue beading. See, I'm not sure exactly how much wire we're going to need in the end, so we're not going to clip it until we have at least half the pattern resolved. And then we can take another pull at it the same length. And I apologize, it, my, my microphone's now probably humming because my AC just came on again smart I'd go shut it off but I'm lazy and I'm busy beating in front of you so there's that okay two four six gold smoky gold same on the other side there are you interesting uh, two smoky gold. If I want to truly be lazy, I could just make this into a bracelet, just following the pattern, but I don't want to be lazy right now. I want to, I want the necklace back, because I think it's a really pretty necklace. And I put the wrong bead on. Let's get the correct beads. It's these white crystal cut beads. I know. You're thinking to yourself, Kenneth's at it again. He broke something that's beautiful, and now he's making it over again. Well, sort of. I mean, it would have been nice to have had this as a complete piece in good condition that I could sell as is by my standards, but instead, I'm going to put a little work into it and have a conversation with you while I do it and recreate the beautiful design that the original artist intended. So, two beads. Gold, smoky gold. And on this side, two beads. Gold, smoky gold. Let's continue. If absolutely nothing else, and I do mean absolutely nothing else, if there's exposed cord underneath the beads, oh, I put that on wrong, I put the gold before the smoky, um, at least it'll show up as gold, and it also shows up as gold inside of the, uh, the smoky beads, which is kind of cool. So it adds a little more consistency to the color pattern as well. That's just my opinion. Instead of seeing a, a cord, you're going to see the, so the gold tone wire that I'm using. Yay. Okay. Let's do it again. So we need six beads. Two. Five. Oh, that's a smoky. Four. Six. Good. And then gold, smoky gold. And for the other side, the same thing. There's four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it's gold, smoky gold. Okay. Probably been faster if I, like I said, if I would have divided out the beads first. But today I'm being a little lazy. I wanted to get this video done so I can go out and do a little shopping a little later. Of course, I'm also prepping for a visit with my
girlfriend hopefully before Valentine's Day. That'll be fun. Coming up on Wednesday. Uh, I really wish it didn't occur in the middle of the week. Because that means that she's got a, effectively a school night. But one takes what one can get, right? Okay, so two beads, gold, smoky gold, two beads, gold, smoky gold. Oh, just a little update, guys. Um, my friend whose bracelet that I restrung for her and um, made the flowers to, to do the connection, not very happy with the results, unfortunately. So eventually, when she returns it to me, I will restring it the way she wants it. I've apologized profusely. I wish that I would have consulted with her before I made any changes, but I did. I tried, I took a little creative license and I shouldn't have. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's my two golds and my smoky. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. My two golds and my smoky. If nothing else, it'll be a lot easier when I do the other side, because I've already got the beads set up, set, set up, right? I'm, I'm half tempted, and I might just do it and just make this long enough to be a choker length, since it is going to be in the wire, and use the rest to make a bracelet. What do you guys think? Am I crazy? Am I, or as the kids used to say, cray cray? I never know. And since I don't get a lot of feedback, I truly never know. If you like what, what you're seeing here, if you, if you like um, my upcycling videos that I do, uh, please leave me a, something in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions on how I can improve things or something else you'd like to see, um, Please, I welcome the I welcome the commentary. I really do. I'm here f to make videos for you as well as for me. Um, right now, it's just whatever I want to do. But I mean, I'd like to know what you'd like me to do. So there's two beads, gold, smoky gold, two beads, and gold, smoky gold. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut it off early. Let's see how this looks. Two beads. There's my gold. Nope, it didn't thread. There we go. Okay, so this is where we are so far. I mean... It makes for a nice looking choker, it really does. Huh. Maybe maybe one more section. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And gold, smoky gold. Oh, just knocked off the gold bead off the end of this thing. It's never a good thing. What we'll do is once we get this on there, we will close the, the process. So one, two, th three, four, five, six, and gold, smoky gold. I do have some extra beads here. I'm not sure if it's enough to make a bracelet, but it's something. And if nothing else, it's me another thing to work on. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, and we have gold, so we can build. I feel like I've said that pattern way too many times. There we go. Okay, so let's grab our little jump ring. sure that the jump rings are sufficiently closed. So we're gonna use my little flathead flat pliers and make sure that there's no outstanding edges. They're nice and flat. There's no gap. one. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my little pliers here. And let's give it a, an initial twist. You guys have seen me do this before. So I'm going to use the pliers to apply tension, but loosely so that the, the little tab of the wire twists around the main wire. And that'll give us a nice, secure ending to the twisted around itself and holding on to this lovely little jump ring. Now let's see. Yeah, my beads will flow on top of it very nicely. Okay, so let's grab our larger jump ring and attach it on and put on the... Oh, I think I just bumped this again. I really need more room to work around the camera. I really do. Just literally the bull in the china shop. Let's get my closure on there. Oh, we're, we are going to need a um, an extender. I forgot about that. I'll take a look and see in my little jar whether I have some chain I can use. If not, I've got some chain in the other room. I just went through a collection and were some pieces that I had to take up, take down for parts because they just were not viable anymore. And I know I've got some extenders out of that. Okay. So that's our first half of the piece. This is where it it's going to double over. So we'll just grab that much distance on the wire. We'll have a little bit more than we really need. But not much. Side. Oh, I've got enough wire for another good project. And let's get to beading. So we're gonna, the first one is going to be a, a two bead piece. Let's put this my jump rings to the side again. So one, two, and a gold smoky gold. The next will be six. And the gold smoky go and gold and will continue. I tend to growl eventually, don't I? I? I realize that listening to my own video recently. I don't keep the volume consistent and it gets very low, and I apologize for that, folks. I guess it's just my way of concentrating on what I'm doing, but I really want to be talking to you as well. So, I, my sincere apologies. Let's get that on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and our gold, smoky gold. Let's 
See, I'm glad we set this all out. Otherwise, we'd be digging for it and not sure we had the right length of necklace anymore. Okay, next section. I know. You're probably getting sick of me saying the same thing over and over again. So what do we want to talk about? Um, well, I hope you have some great plans for, for upcoming Valentine's Day, just two days away, uh, that you've set aside some time for the person that you love, and whether that be your husband, wife, partner, what have you, um, I don't judge. But show them a little love, show them a little concern and support, and make sure that they're in your heart for the day. I know Valentine's Day is a very contrived and um, made up holiday, but the benefit is most people don't think about their, their loved one too often, and this sort of forces the issue. Yes, it's social pressure and um, it's <laughs> cheesy as hell and forces people to spend money that they probably wouldn't have normally spent. But the, the, the side result is, oh, viva l'amour, celebrate love. And I hope that that, that message isn't lost on everybody. I know we tend to commercialize everything and as I understand it, I mean Valentine's Day was actually a creation of diamond companies to try to promote their sales and it wouldn't surprise me one bit if that was true. But like I said, I haven't had very many opportunities to celebrate with someone I loved. This is going to be an exception. I'm looking very much looking forward to it. I've got a nice little gift for her that I've been setting aside and made look very pretty. And get some nice flowers and we're going to go and do something that we both want to do. And that's always a good thing. Yay, okay. Let's see. To where did we okay? One, two, we've got two sections by mis my mistake. Gold, smoky gold. Let's get the six. Yeah, I did end on a six. Good. Good, 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 good. One. By the by, if this is something that you like, let me know in the comments uh, whether you like the fact that I'm creating and upcycling on stream. Or, or I should say on camera, or if you actually like the piece and would like it, um, I could arrange to put it out for sale for you. And if, and if you guys don't know, I sell on whatnot.com or the whatnot app. I haven't sold anything in a bit, but always willing to do so. If you need some, some jewelry for, for the person you love, uh, go ahead and visit my little store over there. I'm sure you can find something interesting. And if you can't, let me know what you're looking for, and maybe I have it. I'll put it out for you. Again, something else to put in the comments. I'm more than happy to try to accommodate you guys. And one more section. Six beads. And as you can see, we're going to have a, a bit of extra wire. We'll trim that off as soon as we get to the point where we can figure that out exactly. And our last gold smoky gold. Very good. Okay. 
let's call it taut. So we probably only need about that much of the wire. So we're going to fold it over and, and twist it around and tie it down. So there we go. Put that into my scrap bucket. Not that I'll ever wind up using it, but it's better than having it just lying around getting in my way. careful with this because I don't want to want to drop beads. So I'm going to grab this with my pliers. I move it down a bit and fold it over. I'm going to leave just a little bit of space there. Not a lot. That will do very nicely. Get my pliers in so we can twist over. Good. Now, there we are. So I'm, I'm leaving less than an, than an eighteenth of an inch of exposed wire. And allowing the wire to fold over twist over, I should say. Come on. Thank you. Create a nice tight connection. And every time I'm twisting, I'm releasing some of the pressure on the, the end. Oh, here we go. We got our wire showing. I want that against the, the other wire. There we are. Because I want that that little nib of wire to twist sufficiently over the, the end. Okay, we've got a little end, but it's actually very nice. Okay, never mind. We don't even need to fix anything. Okay, let's find the opening for this piece. Okay, before we put the, the last jump ring on, let's see if we can't find something to use as a... Oh, there's my little chain pile. Something to use as an extender. Um, actually... I like this. That's a very thick chain. I wonder if I can get my jump ring over it. Not my jump ring, my um, lobster claw. That'll make the decision for me. Oh, here we are. If it can capture it, which it can, we'll use it. Very good. Okay, so what are we looking at? Um, is this long enough to be a bracelet? It is. So be it, I don't care. Um, this is going to be very nice. The question is, will it allow me to do it? I'm going to break it right here. That means we're going to take that lobster claw off of this piece eventually. Come on, be, be nice. Give me the, the length of chain I'm asking for. Really? This is being stubborn. Okay. Let's try another piece. <laughs> uh, I just want something that is gold tone and has nice open links. That'll work. It's not very long, but that'll work sufficiently. Okie dokie. And a 
just thread this through my little jump ring and put my extender on there. Not that this really needs an extender so much as it just needs a bunch of locations where it can catch the, the lobster claw. Because, I mean, this is going to be definitely long enough to work from, from for anybody. I can't imagine anyone having this th th that thick of a neck. Let's see what we got. Symmetry, nice design, it's sparkly. I think I like it. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. If you like what we're doing here, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. Um, I'm always looking for new people that want to learn how to recycle old pieces of jewelry. Um, giving you a little bit of knowledge goes a long way in creating. And as always, my name is Kenneth. I am your host, your hand model, and the crazy Vegas Valley treasure hunter. As always, enjoy your jewelry. Thank you very much for joining us today. Bye-bye.